Hello friends, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of a Iron Age Sarmatian from the Urals. Let's begin the video. This is what he's predicted to look like with Minus Akkot tool. Minus Akkot predicts him to have hazel color eyes, Greek shaped nose and brown color hair. He's got blue eye haplotype 1, he's heterozygous for blue eye haplotype 2, he does not have blue eye haplotype 3 or 4. And if you look at his other uh, genotypes in genes such as SLC45A2, TIRP1, KETOG, SLC2485 and ASIP, it's clear that he probably has white skin and lighter traits. This is actually one of the reasons he's predicted to have hazel eyes instead of brown, despite being heterozygous for BH2. It typic typically that leads to brown eyes. Uh, but he's got hazel eyes instead. And when it comes to eye shape prediction, his eye shape prediction is South Asian. So he's got, um, I guess, South Asian facial morphology. But uh, number two prediction for after South Asian is Estonian. So, um, but you know, South Asian, Estonian, the facial morphology there is pretty similar. Uh, we all kind of look pretty similar. Uh, the people who look different are Africans and, and East Asians, which he doesn't score any. And he's predicted to have wavy hair uh, with my hair shape predictor tool. This is what he scores with the Eurogenes K13 calculator. Um, I will remind you that 8.5% South Asian is actually a typical score for Sarmatians. Look at my other videos that I've made on Sarmatians on this channel. It is not an extraordinary result. He does have a typical, he's, he falls in a typical range of South Asian admixture for Sarmatians. He's closest to Tatars and Moldovans with the Oracle. And he's actually getting one of those, a mixture of Finnish plus Baloch or Brahvi or Tajik. Actually, half Finnish plus half Tajik. Uh, as you can see, line number three in the Oracle, pretty close distance to him. Uh, this is what he scores with MDLPK11 Modern. And as you can see, he's scoring 5.5% ASI. Uh, Ancestral South Indian, once again, Sarmatians do score Ancestral South Indian. Uh, he's also very heavily in the Caucasus components, and he's closest to Skiffy and Iron Age, which is, I don't really know what that is. Um, wh what did they use as a reference for Skiffy and here? And he's actually getting more of a mixture of Skiffy and Iron Age plus various European Neolithic farmers. This is what he scores with MDLPK16 Modern, as you can see here. Uh, he's, close, he's scoring 12.2% Indian once again. Uh, it's not atypical for Sarmatians to score this kind of, um, this high percentage of Indian. Uh, it's a pretty typical result actually, but I haven't done Sarmatian videos in a long time, so this was kind of a surprise to me once again. I kind of forgot about it. Uh, with the Oracle, he's getting more as a mixture of half Tajik plus half Erzia or half Tajik plus half Russian. And uh, this is what he scores with Pan DNA LK10. As you can see, the biggest component that he's scoring is CHG, which does capture the Caucasus plus the Zagrosian plus the BMAC components. Uh, it captures all of this kind of West Asian drift together. So if you're a BMAC individual, you're going to score mostly CHG with this calculator. And he's getting more as a mixture of Chuwash plus Lisgin or Chuwash plus Chechen, uh, a mixture of Chuwash plus around 40%. Um, uh, Northern Caucasian. So this individual has a lot of Caucasian and also Makrani, also South Central Asian shift. And you're going to see just how much with this result with ancient Eurasia K6. It really pu puts everything into perspective in terms of how much South Asian admixture, how much BMAC admixture this individual has. He's getting more as a mixture of 57% step middle eight bronze age plus Burusho. And I will remind you, middle eight bronze age step is Sintashta. So he's getting more as a mixture of Sintashta plus Burusho, Sintashta plus Tajik, Sintashta plus Pashtun. This individual has BMAC admixture. And it's it, it was pretty clear from all the other Sarmatian videos I've made, but this is just to show you how much BMAC admixture this individual and Sarmatians in general have. Uh, this is what he scores with Gedrosia K3. Um, I don't think he has any like East Asian admixture. I haven't seen that with the other calculators. I was Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but uh, I think the 18% East Eurasian here is all coming from ancient North Eurasian admixture. Now we'll be taking a look at, at his traits with my genome analyzer tool. Let's go ahead and find this. Which one is he? It's LS13, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make <laughs> I'm gonna make uh, videos on all three of these uh, after him, so I'm kind of getting confused. I think it's the first one, right? Yeah. So we're gonna it's gonna prompt us to enter a name. We're gonna enter LS13. So he's got AA in Comte's Valmet variation, which means Met Met genotype, which means Warrior genotype in Comte. Um, more dopamine. Less dopamine reuptake, more dopamine. Uh, he's not genotyped for the MAOA variation. Interesting. Uh, he's got GG in TAC1 version of DRD2. Well, this is a little bit concerning. So, we don't really have his genotype for Profidence in Pro, so let's just hope he's got the no-go learner variant. Uh, because if he doesn't, 
if he doesn't have any no goal or no variance in profile in pro then he's got more dopamine d2 receptor availability and also more dopamine building up in his system uh, which is not good which leads to a uh, very uh, an array of issues with um, mental health okay so he's got tt here in drd3 which leads to slightly lower risk of ocd and intellectual disability that's good he's got aa here in dopamine d receptor d21 uh, d1 gene which leads to a higher likelihood of autism i think that's typical for europeans and asians to have um a aging type here it's only africans who have um something else here for lactose persistence he's got gg here which means does not carry the european lactose persistence mutation and he's got gg in this variation of oxtr which means two variants for higher levels of empathy not a sociopath for diabetes, um, not genotype for this variation, which is the most important variation for diabetes, for type 1 diabetes. Uh, we're going to find out what his score for type 2 diabetes is after we uh, finish with this panel. For hemochromatosis, he does not carry the C282Y hemochromatosis mutations. For Alzheimer's, no risk alleles in this APOE variation. And uh, CC here, actually, which leads to increased risk of Alzheimer's. So we're probably going to see a pretty high score for Alzheimer's just because of this genotype here. Um, He's got AA genotype in this variation, which means two alleles that protect from myopia. Very interesting. Uh, maybe slightly lower odds of myopia. Um, he's got TT genotype here, which means impaired muscle performance, likely endurance athlete rather than strength athlete or sprinter. And uh, TT here, which leads to lesser likelihood of weight gain if taken Zyprexa. And GG here, which means lower susceptibility to meth-induced psychosis. Um, what about atypical traits? He's not a carrier for tyrosinase negative occutaneous albinism mutation, not albino. Uh, he's not genotyped for anything else here in the albinism and atypical traits panel. But, I mean, how common are albinos? Do you really see albinos all that often? He's probably not albino. <laughs> I mean, pro probably not, okay? Probably not him. Now, let's see polygenic risk scores. For polygenic risk scores, he's got um, pretty high... I mean, slightly higher, not actually not even all that high, just kind of pretty average uh, odds of schizophrenia, uh, slightly higher odds of diabetes than what's typical, and as I've said, as I've predicted correctly, um, he's predicted to have a pretty high odds of Alzheimer's. Now, aside from these two, there's actually other variations that contribute to the score. Um, you can go on my GitHub and you can look at the code for this for this trait predictor, and you can see what kind of uh, what other uh, genetic variations are used for the calculation of the score because it's not it's not only what you see on the screen there's also stuff you don't see on the screen that plays a role in uh, the score so that's pretty much all there is to it thanks for watching my video until the end uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe and also you can download this file in 23andme format from link which is in the description of this video goodbye